Exciting day, exciting day today. We're going to be heading over to the fire department station, RCFD, uh, well, RCFR, and we're going to be, uh, today is our ride along day. They've been quite busy recently and uh, there just hasn't been a lot of time for ride alongs, but today I got the email and I'm very excited. Hey there. Um, yeah, I'm here for my ride along. I just got the email this morning. I'm here for the ride along with one of these supervisors here. I didn't really get too much information over the email. They just said come down here at four and they can arrange the ride along and uh, they'll give me the information then. Who is your RA under? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I just got an email this morning from the department administration telling me to come down here for my ride along. Uh, yeah, it should be. Should be, hopefully. Uh, I think we're just going to take our seat for the moment there. They're going to get a um, department administrator. Oh, wait. Oh, I can come around. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, inside the station. I've only been in here once before, and uh, I think we're going to the training room, so we're actually joining a training here. Um, okay, hello. Hello, everyone. Some new faces here. Hey there. Um, yeah, I was called for my ride along today, so I'm guessing I'm riding along with you, maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. All right, this is exciting. This is exciting. Uh, yeah, I apologize. Uh, I don't think I'm late, but I hope I'm not uh, disturbing anything, but uh, yeah, have a seat. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're just going to sit at the back here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so apparently we're not disturbing anything. I think they're just starting a briefing on Welcome Jack. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, it should, should be a good day today. So uh, it, de it really depends if we get any calls. It really depends what we're doing today. I think uh, I did hear them say something about some uh, fire hose testing. So I think we're just going to be doing some training exercises today. But if that's all we're doing, that's fine. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see how uh, busy the day is. But I'm glad to be here regardless. So, as I said, two people who chose us. Okay. Right, so I think we're just going over some firefighting information there, briefing. Just uh, refreshing, recapping over some information. Okay, I think we're just going to do some practice exercises outside. So, I guess we just get to tag along. That's going to be a bit exciting. I've re not really used a fire hose in action. We've used the training ones, but haven't used one of these. Alright, here we go. We've got the command vehicles, ambulances, tankers, rescues. Wow. Wow, this place this place is massive. This place is massive here. The training facility we went to the other day was a lot smaller than this. Uh, keep clear for vehicles moving. Alright, I think they're going to move some vehicles out. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we're just moving the tankers out, I believe, and using those. Alright, nice, nice, nice. I guess let's just go and follow the tanker out here. And we'll probably just be watching for the moment. I don't think we'll be involved. These things are amazing. Wow. All right. Uh, okay. So I think they're just going to plug them in. They're just going to be testing out. Apparently, we've got new fire hoses. I've never really seen one of these tankers before. At least where I used to live, we didn't really have any of these tankers. We just had the engines. So uh, it's kind of cool. Hey there. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to be watching for the moment, I believe. Oh, no. I'm taking one of the hoses. All right. Uh, okay, I'm going to take one of the hoses. Okay, go and pick this fire hose up there. All right, all right, we're just doing some testing with the new hoses there. Whoa, powerful. Okay, all right, let's just go and stabilize ourselves there and just test this out there. All right, perfect. We've got someone assisting me here. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to be testing these out here, these new hoses. So we just want to make sure the water's running smoothly. Oh, well, there we go. Keep that from drifting off to the left and the right there. Lovely, lovely. Move that slightly up a bit more there. Okay, you can probably get a good 100 feet with this, actually. Very nice, very nice. Keep that flowing for about a minute or so more, and uh, then I think we're just going to do some walking up and down with this. Test that there's no choke points on the line, and then I think that should be good. We're just going to go over all the lines and test with this here, I believe. So a pretty easy start to the day, I guess. Let's go and start walking up here with the lines there, nice and slowly. We just gotta make sure this unravels nice and easily there. Would be quite unfortunate if we started wiping off the paint uh, off of the tank there, so. Oh, okay, I think we've reached the limit. We'll go ahead and actually slowly turn that off. That should be fine there. All right, let's go ahead and reel this back in there. That's nicely done, okay. All right, let's go and pull this back in and rather this up, just store it away for the time being and drop that on the ground there. All right, go ahead and pull this back in there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, thank you. If you can help rolling those in, we'll just actually go and take this, pick this up actually, and there we go. Go and bring in the extra slack of the line there and go and store that away. What a new call actually. Hold up, let's just go and check our MTT here. Uh, we've got a vehicle accident has occurred. 
Hold on, that's not coming through properly. There's a problem with the transmission, but a vehicle accident has occurred over the hospital. Both calls were dispatched from the hospital here. Uh, one looks like an automatic call. I think we're roll. Are we rolling to this, or is another department taking this? We're rolling. All right, all right. Let's go and get our gear on. Okay, I guess we are actually going to get some action today. Let's go and get our gear on here. Get. I don't want to slow this team down, so let's just get this on real quick. All right, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Let's just go and follow them out here. Okay, we're hopping in 602, I believe. 602. Let's just go and hop in the back there. Okay, they're going to do radio transmission. That's fine. We'll go and follow. Follow along there. Should be a relatively quick drive since it's only at the hospital intersection. So... Uh, once we get moving, traffic doesn't seem to be an issue today. Uh, does look like the roads are relatively quiet for a Sunday afternoon, which is, uh, that's good. All right, rolling up here, there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of smoke, actually. Uh, seems like we've got a couple of vehicles involved here on scene. Hard to really determine how many until we're on scene. Definitely, yeah, we've got four vehicles at least. Is that a police car involved? That is, that's an under... Okay, all right, we shouldn't be worrying about that for the moment anyways. All right, let's go and get this all unloaded and get ready. We've got... Oh, okay, we've got about five or six victims as well there. Oh, yep, we'll go and take that down. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. We'll go and get this linked up there. Tanker, we'll go and roll this over to the tanker actually. Okay, uh, so let's see. Only two or three of the vehicles are on fire. But that's still going to be quite a pain to put out there. All right, we've got an attack line there. They've got that attached to a hydrant. Perfect. All right, let's get this ready and go. All right, it looks like we've got a couple of officers here. Hold on, I'll help you get them back, actually. Go ahead and carry them over here and we can get them loaded up onto a stretcher. There we go. All right, oh, mind the hose there, mind the hose. Don't want to trip over that. Okay, let's just get them over here. Perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, officer, sorry, can you help Can you help us get them on the stretcher, please? All right, let's go. Um, all right, if you want to load the stretcher there. Perfect, let's just go ahead and lift them up onto there and onto the stretcher. Nice job, nice job. EMTs can take it from here. Lines are going down. Let's not trip over those. Lines are going down. Make sure the pressure's on for those. Perfect, okay, and... Water levels seem to be coming in. All right, let's go. Let's get everyone back. Officers, let's go. Let's go. Move back. Move back. Let's go. Let's go. Get everyone back. Everyone back. Everyone back. Let's go. There we go. We'll just go and help with the hose. Okay, so it looks like the fires are going out nice and quickly here. Um, doesn't seem to be too hard of an impact, at least. You can see the vehicle. Uh, there's only a couple of, actually... No, looking at them more as the smoke clears, there's a lot of damage to the back of the sedan there. The other vehicles don't seem to have gone in too hard. I think vehicles like the Explorer over here, they haven't... I think they managed to stop just in time, but the vehicle seems to be smoking. So, not sure if that's a related issue or maybe the engines just overheated since they were parked right by the fire here. Alright, we're just going to assist with this line there as we bring around... Oh my... Is that a McLaren? Uh, let's go get these people out of here. Right, we're going to go and move the hoses out of the way here. Let's just go and move the hoses out of the way uh, so we can clear for EMTs and FD to move in there. All right, we're just going to ravel this up. That should be fine. We've still got a couple of hoses lined down over there. So let's just go and move these out of the way there. Yeah, the fires are actually very quick to put out, surprisingly. For a multi-vehicle accident, that, that would usually be half an hour or so. It, it really does depend on multiple fa factors, but... There we go. Let's just go and roll this up. But uh, yeah, that was less than five minutes at least. It's crazy quick uh, turnaround time there. Uh, Detach that. We'll just go and roll this up here. Get that tucked in the way. All right, we'll keep the pressure coming in. We've actually got uh, two supply lines there. Okay, let's see where we can help on the scene here. Let's go and see where we can help. All right, this person needs an EMT. Yeah, can we get an EMT down here? Do we have anyone available at the moment? All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, right. All right. Uh, were you involved in the scene? Did you see what happened here? Okay, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to roll some EMTs down here. Just wait there. Okay, uh, I need you to head over to the officers. Okay, can you go and walk around the scene here? I need you to head over and talk to the officers, okay? All right, stay far back, please, and don't get in the way of uh, firefighters. There you go. Hold that for me. Hold the wound. Hold the wound here. Let me go and grab a uh, medic kit real quick here. Hopefully an EMT frees up in just a moment. All right, yeah, let's go and get them in the back here. Hey, uh, I need an EMT down here. We've got someone who has a, uh, looks like a wound to the chest there. Not entirely sure just yet, but I can't find a medic kit. Okay, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, yeah, I haven't looked into it too much. Thanks, okay. Right, over here on the scene. Okay, they're, war they're moving away some of the lines there. Perfect, perfect. It does look, though, like the officer went into the back of this sedan, which had major damage. Uh, no, no, I, I can't let any of these 
I don't think we can get any of these vehicles. No, no, not for now. We gotta go and clear the scene first. We got a mess of hoses over there. We just gotta go and clean up. Get the cutters. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get the cutters. Let's go and unlatch that, open this up. There we go. We've got, we're gonna carry this back over. All right, if you want to take that, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so it does look, I think there's someone inside the McLaren here, which they're just going to open up the door. Can't see in. The windows are so tinted. I don't think that's even legal to have the windows tinted so much to where you cannot see inside in broad daylight. Yeah, that should be looked into here. But also how an officer with their lights on crashed into this sedan here. I'm sure an investigation has been launched on this already, but bumping into people all over the scene here. Okay, let's try and assist where we can. So you can see the police car went into the back and then slid into the side or something. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, I do believe that we've got everyone out of the vehicle though, so no uh, fatal injuries from that, which is always a relief. Yeah, thanks. I, I just tried to help out where possible. Is there anything else you need me to do? Uh, or at least any, any set tasks I need to help out with? Else I'll just go ahead and help around the scene where possible. Okay, all right. Uh, so now at the moment, it seems like we're clearing this all up here. I have to talk to you in the station. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Is, is this good or good or bad? All right, I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, I'll help out around the scene, and I guess I'll see you heading back to the station there. Okay, so now it's really taking pictures of the scene, filing all these reports, and keeping these news reporters who keep walking very, very close, but I'm guessing law enforcement are dealing with that there. Well, we're going to wrap up this scene here, head back to the station, and I guess uh, should be good news from there, hopefully. We should also then get updates from the hospital about everyone's condition, but it did seem none of the injuries from this accident were life-threatening, which is always a big relief, so I guess, I guess we'll just have to see, but it should be a quick recovery. Who is this person sitting down over there? But well, once they're not uh, interfering, they're fine. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to go and consider subscribing. It's out by the channel a lot. Massive thanks for having taken part in today's video. If you'd like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord servers and Robux groups. The link's in the description below. Anyways, have a great day and see you next one. Goodbye.